Start your Hi everyone, engage. my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about Problem Set Zero making phases of CS15 introduction to programming with Python. So if you have any question about programming or you would like to know more about your career, check the description below where you can schedule a three 30 minute session with us, all right? We also like to emphasize that this solution is made for those who have already completed the assignment and want to have another view about the solution, okay? We totally disencourage a plagiarism, all right? So let us start taking a look at the course. So the making faces is telling us what? Before there were emoji, there were emoticons, whereby text like a happy face, then the text like this one was a sad face. Nowadays, programs tend to convert emoticons to emoji automatically. In a file called faces.py, implement a function called convert that accepts a string as input and return that same input with any happy face converted to emoji, otherwise known as this link that we're gonna see in a bit, and this sad face we're gonna do the same, okay? All the other text should be returned unchanged. Then, in that same file, implement a function called main that prompts the user for input, calls convert on that input, and prints the result. You're welcome but not required to prompt the user explicitly as by passing. Be sure to call main at the bottom of your file. So here, this will be pretty similar to what you did in playback speed problem, all right? But now we're going with two differences. Instead of changing white space to three periods, we're going to change this colon parenthesis to a happy face or a sad face, all right? And now we're going to create that structure of defi defining a main, defining a convert, and calling the main in the bottom, okay? So I have already here the pseudocode, all right? So basically what we're going to have in faces py we're gonna have here the definition of main and inside the main we're gonna get user input call convert function and we're gonna print the result okay then we have another convert uh, this will be return the string so then we're gonna have convert function where we're gonna receive a parameter here and we're gonna replace this happy face with a happy emoji we're gonna replace the sad face with for a set emoji and we're gonna return the string and in the end we're calling the function, okay? So let's do step by step in our code. So the first thing here we have to get user input, okay? So before we do this, let's see how it works. Basically, the function input allows us to ask questions to the user and the answer that the user typed in, we can store in a variable. For example, if we want to ask the name of the user, we can do username equals to input, what's your name? name and it will be prompt in the terminal the user can write his name if the user types in Giovanna the variable username will start Giovanna since the answer is stored in a variable we can use this answer in our code so now let's try to implement this in our code, okay? So the first thing we need to do is get user input. So I'm gonna create a variable called msg for message where we're gonna store the user input. So here I'm gonna use input and you can put a message inside the parentheses or not, all right? You're the one that can decide. Then we're gonna call the convert function here. So I'm gonna create a variable called result and I'm gonna call the function convert that we just created, we're gonna create. And like we saw here, we have to pass a message as a parameter so we're gonna pass our variable msg to this convert function okay and in the end we're gonna print the result so here print result and that's it this is it for our main function now let's work 